How has the experience been like for QI Sports uh, to organize this uh, Friday uh, Night Lights 2023-2024? Uh, the experience has, uh, it, 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 it has been interesting, a learning experience really because we this is the first time we are part of FNL. FNL has been around since 2011. Uh, it has gone for, it, it, it went up to 2019 uh, and then it had a COVID interruption uh, and it only came back around uh, late 2023. Uh, so we just came in then, uh, we've been talking to the, to the owners of the product, uh, Pamoja Africa, led by Tomo Shamringa and uh, we agreed to work together. She's, she's post has been around for a bit. Uh, our first uh, maybe known big uh, 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 sports deal we, 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 we cracked was for Falcons, the basketball club in uh, around 2014, 15, and it was a three year deal with, with Star Times. It was called Star Times Falcons for that period. Uh, at, at that time, I think it was the biggest uh, uh, the biggest deal in sports, sponsorship deal in sports, before Star Times spread out to football and all that, and and and, and but but for the so for some bit for some time that's what we have been doing, uh, trying to get in sponsorship in sports, trying to bring some new flavor to sports. It's not it's not easy. Uh, people don't like change as you know it, so sometimes uh, you you suggest. You suggest things like this, like you've seen. Uh, I don't know how you found the experience yourself. What What do you think the experience is? What uh, <laughs> I, I actually, I, I actually uh, loved uh, uh, so much of it because you know the I love the uh, the fun, the fun kind of bit of it. You know, but though I thought that you know the players could have done a little bit more, you know, to make it you know more fun and stuff like that. It's on the players and not the organizers, you know. Yeah. But I, I believe that the organization has been very good uh, from the organizer. Uh, 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 apart from actually that first day, which did not go right, which I actually, which brings me to the next question. After that, not very good start. How did you guys manage to uh, dig? Manage to make a come back and make you know the second one even bigger and even the third one. No, or originally actually it everything was meant to look this way and even uh, progress into a, a, even a much better experience for the fans, for the players and everyone watching at home. But what happened is uh, we, we just had a few glitches with with suppliers the first day. Uh, the lights the lights arrived late. I mean you know I mean having been away for three years and we guys coming in first time and every other pass, all the other suppliers not having done something like this before. So somehow they, we kind of uh, missed a step here and there. But we, because we already had, we had already planned it. Uh, we had already planned something like this. We knew we could always recover in the next one. Of course, apologies to everyone who, who had paid the first day and didn't get the experience they expected. But this is just the start because this is uh, what happens is uh, this was only three week, three Fridays. Oftentimes, the FNL takes six to eight weeks pre-season uh, of uh, the National Basketball League. So this particular one came. Uh, we, we 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 got the the sponsorship was confirmed a little bit late into the year. We didn't have enough time to play with, and we said. Since since we since this had taken forever, we couldn't wait for 2024 and say let's just start out, uh, kind of uh, uh, kickstart it a bit, remind the fans of what they have been missing, so that uh, we start the season 10, which which will also happen this year, uh, in in a much stronger way. People will well, at least will they will have memories to very short. They will they'll, they'll only have it will only it won't be that long history. There will be photos online. There will be everything going, but also uh, season ten is not season ten is going to be even more colourful. It's going to get out of town. We, of course, a lot of that will be announced as uh, as plans progress. So we have we have uh, uh, so we're looking at going maybe to the bigger towns out of Kampala, bigger cities, Mbarara, Gulu, maybe, and any other that may come across that may come up. And, and maybe then culminate with the 
with a major one in the city, in, in the capital city, Kampala. Yes, and now, uh, in 10 seconds, could you please uh, just tell us what have you enjoyed most, not as a, an organizer, as a fan, also, what have you enjoyed most at uh, this uh, uh, FNL? Of course, it has been fun to, I mean, it's the feedback, really, So because we, we have received a lot of feedback, people saying, hey, we, we haven't seen anything like this before, uh, this, this is where the game should be going. Some people think maybe the NBL playoffs should be played here, because sometimes it gets overly packed in there. So yeah, the feedback like gives us the energy to to want to do it even even better. Whether it, even from the sponsors, some of the sponsors are happy. They think they can they can even push in more support and hopefully it all it helps the game of basketball grow. That's at the end of the day that's what happens because a fun thing like this uh, some people come here for the entertainment and then, uh, at the end of the day they end up falling in love with basketball itself true, yeah. and that way it, it helps the, the sport grow. Asada, thank you very much. And uh, I don't know what uh, Q, uh, key sports shall be having next. Let me just keep it at that. Yeah, uh, thank you very much. And uh, 